Hey guys, it's Ami and Moore. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute Pikmin Ami Gurumi. You can crochet them in the classic colors of red, yellow, and blue. I picked them from my garden to create this pretty looking bouquet. They each come with a fun accessory at the top, such as this bud, a leaf, or a flower. You can find a free written pattern on my blog at amiamore.com. Be sure to tag me with your projects on Instagram as I'd love to see how your projects turn out. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. For round one for the Pikmin with the color of choice, you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot onto your hook. And you're going to go ahead and chain two. So that is one and two. And now for in the first chain, you are going to do four single crochet stitch. So insert hook, yarn over and come back out. You should have two loops. Yarn over and come out through both loops. That is our first single crochet stitch completed. You want to do three more. So that's our second one, two, three, and four. Okay, now you can close this ring right here so it is tight and now i'm going to use a stitch marker i just like to use a bobby pin and insert into our last stitch made right there now for rounds two through eight we're going to stay at four single crochet stitches so this first one doesn't count and if we count that would be one two three and four. So I am going to go into the very first stitch right here. Not that one, but this. And then I want to make sure I go through both loops right here. So that is going to be one. Next stitch. Two. Three. And our very last stitch, it is going to be four. Okay, now we want to make sure we're on the proper side. So what we want to do is actually flip it inside out. Okay, it might be a little tight, but if we continue, okay, so that the more rounded portion this way is actually going to be on the outside part. And now we can use my stitch marker and mark the end once more. And we're going to continue to go round and stay at four single crochet stitch till we get to round eight. So we're going to continue on. This is where it's reaching out. So the next um, where the stitch was previously, so our, my next stitch is right here. So that's going to be one. This is my next one, two, and three, and very last one right here. It's going to be four once more. Okay, it's going to be a little tight with the stitches, but go ahead and keep going around and just work it very carefully so that you make sure to go into the next, the proper stitch. Okay, so go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round eight. And this is how it should look like after round eight. And if we have a little tail showing, I like to actually go ahead and insert it in with my hook. 
can go ahead and stuff it in. Now for round nine, we are going to do one increase. So that's going to be two and the rest is going to be one, one, one. So we're going to go ahead and do one and then into the same stitch. That's two. And then it's just one in each stitch around. That's one and one. And my very last stitch right here is just going to be one. So now at the end, we should have five single crochet stitches all around. Now for round 10, we are going to stay at five single crochet stitches. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, and our very last stitch is going to be five. Now for round 11, we are going to increase right here, two, and in the rest of the stitches, just one in each. So at the end, you should have six single crochet stitches. So this is one, and in the same stitch, that's two. Now this is going to be three, four, five, and my very last stitch. So now I have six stitches all together. Now for round 12, I'm going to do two in each stitch all the way around and I should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So here I'm going to do one and two into the same stitch. Next stitch, one and two. Okay, one and two, one and two, one and two, and into my very last stitch right here is going to be one and two as well. And now I should have 12 single crochet stitches all the way around. Now for round 13, we're just going to stay at 12. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and keep going all the way around and you'll stay at 12 single crochet stitches. Now for round 14, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, repeat the pattern all the way around and you will have 18 single crochet stitches. So one, same stitch, two, the next stitch is just one. Repeat the pattern again. It's one and two and then one. Okay, continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for round 15, we're going to stay at 18. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round 16, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two and one and one. Repeat the pattern again, one and two and one and one. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for round 17 and 18, we are going to just stay at 24 single crochet stitches. So it's just one crochet, single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 18. Now for round 19, our pattern is going to be a decrease 
and then just single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and then decrease, single crochet, single crochet. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. And you should have 18 single crochet stitches. We're going to do our decrease. Okay, and then come back out. Next stitch, yarn over, come back out. You should have three loops, yarn over and come out through all three loops. That is our first single crochet decrease. And now it's just going to be one and one. Okay, we're going to repeat the pattern again. We're going to go ahead and do a decrease. And then just one and one and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for round 20, our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, repeat the pattern all the way around, and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So here is our decrease, and then just one single crochet stitch. Okay, continue to repeat the pattern again, decrease, and then single crochet stitch. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for round 21, our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet. Continue to repeat all the way around and you should have eight single crochet stitches at the end. Okay, here is a decrease and then a single crochet stitch. Okay, we're going to do a decrease and a single crochet stitch and continue to repeat all the way around. This is how our head should look like so far. And what we can do is we can um, start to stuff, stuff our head. Now for round 22, we are going to do a decrease single crochet, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, single crochet, and we should have six single crochet stitches at the end. So here is a decrease, and then a single crochet stitch, and a single crochet stitch. Okay, we're going to do a decrease right here, and then a single crochet stitch, and then into our very last stitch right here, we are going to do a single crochet stitch. And now we should have six single crochet stitches all together. Okay, now for round 23, our pattern is going to be two in each stitch all the way around. And you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So right here, I'm going to do one, same stitch, two. Okay, I'm going to do one and two and continue to repeat all the way around. Now for rounds 24 to 26, we are just going to stay at 12 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch and each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Okay, and this is how it should look like so far. Now for round 27, our pattern is going to be two. And in our next five, just one, repeat the pattern around and you should have 14 single crochet stitches. So that is one and in the same stitch, that is two. And then that is one, two, three, four and five. Repeat the pattern again. Just one and two. And then one, two, three, four and five. And now we should have 14 single crochet stitches all the way around. Now for round 28, we are just going to stay at 14 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. 
for round 29, our pattern is going to be two. And then in our next six, it's just one. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have 16 single crochet stitches. So that is one and two, and then just one, two, three, four, five, and six. Repeat the pattern again. It's going to be one and two, and then one, two, three, four, five, and our very last stitch is six. So now you should have 16 single crochet stitches around. Now for round 30, we are just going to do decrease all the way around and we should have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So here is a decrease. Okay, and then another decrease and continue to do decrease all the way around. Now for round 31, I'm just going to do two decreases. So that's going to be one and one and then i'm going to cut off a long tail and fasten off okay and then i want to finish stuffing and sew close <laughs> slip knot and then chain two that's one and two and into our very first chain we are going to do four single crochet stitch that's one two three and four okay you're going to close the loop closed and in each four rounds two through five we're going to stay at four single crochet stitches so we are going to ignore this part right here and that's one two three four so we know to go through this one first right here so that's one two three and right here okay and just like the start of our body we'll want to go ahead and flip it so the right side is showing okay so now go ahead and work up your stitches until you reach round five okay so this is how your leg should look like so far we have one two three four five rounds of four stitches now for round six, I'm going to do an increase right here. So that's one and two into this same stitch. And then it's just one in each stitch. One, two, and three. Then I'm going to slip stitch into my next stitch and then fasten off. Okay, and here is our leg completed and I want to make two. For the arm, we are going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then we are going to chain seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we are going to slip stitch back. So we are going to go right here and do a slip stitch. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to cut off a long tail. 
and fast enough and you'll want to make two <laughs> Here is the finished body of our Pikmin Amigurumi. I have another video tutorial for the accessories that go at the top such as this bud, this flower, and also the leaf pattern as well. I will go ahead and link that tutorial to the top of this video right here as well as in my description box. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.